Moving forward and breaking free from the chains of the past is a journey that many of us find ourselves embarking on, whether it's letting go of past mistakes, healing from heartbreak or overcoming limiting beliefs. That process of moving forward requires both courage and intention. So is your past keeping you trapped is the question. If it is, it's time to break free. Licensed therapist and breakup coach Dr. Radisha Brown has hey. some strategies for closing the door on the past. Break free from the chains and uh, step out of the past and into the future, and it's always good to see you. Good to see you guys. It's so lovely to be here. It's such an important topic. It is. It is, uh, because a lot of people just cannot move right, on. So right, right. What advice do you, those, do you have for those that are trying to struggle to break free? Right. Here's the thing. Life um, comes with ups and downs. We've all experienced hurt. We've all experienced pain. Sometimes we do the hurt, and sometimes we are experiencing the hurt. It's important to acknowledge where you are in the journey, right? And to create a path so that you can break free from what I call the emotional prison, right? Keeping the, the walls high and distancing yourself from people and constantly beating yourself up about the thing that happened that you may not have had any control over, right? And so it's so often that we um, believe that that's where we need to stay, right? We had no control of what happened, but somehow we need to give ourselves a life sentence in emotional prison and, and then remain stuck there. And listen, nobody wants to be in prison. No, no, <laughs> we want to move on and be free. So the question is, how do we do that? How do we handle the guilt, the shame, all those feelings of just kind of being stuck in that place? Right, first, we need to acknowledge it. We can't change which that we do not acknowledge, right? Acknowledge just where we are. Acknowledge the fact that, you know what, I'm still holding on to the this thing that happened. I'm still holding on to this heartbreak. I'm still holding on to this disappointment. I'm still holding on to the fact that I caused pain for somebody else, right? So first acknowledge it and then work on it. I often like to give my clients a homework assignment of writing a letter to themselves, forgiving themselves for whatever the thing is that they think they caused or their role or to the person that caused it regardless if they're still with us or not, because the important piece is not to give the actual letter to the person, but to free yourself subconsciously from the pain in the prison you put yourself there. And it's a very emotional journey of speaking to that person in, in written form and speaking to your younger self or the version of yourself that went through that particular pain to allow yourself to free. To, to allow yourself the, the opportunity to live a whole and happy life that you so deserve. So, okay, what advice would you give to someone that's looking to break free? I mean, this is a good one that you just gave, some, some other tips. Mm -hmm. Another uh, tip or uh, strategy I like to use is timed sadness, right? Because it's so important, it's easy for us to say, oh, just get over it, right? Just, just let it go. But it takes time to allow you to do that. So I do this 15 minute exercise where I set the timer for 15 minutes. We, you go into the smallest room in your house, either a closet or a small bathroom, and and this is the time you give yourself permission to cry, to yell, to scream, to just let it all out, that pain you've been holding. It's called time sadness. And you just give yourself permission to be free emotionally and say, yell, curse, whatever you need to do to let it out. Maybe and then let, when- Maybe let the neighbors know first. <laughs> yeah. You can do it outside, right? <laughs> and then when the timer goes, after the 15 minutes, you then give yourself permission to be free. Right? And you do that as often as you need to as you go through the healing journey because it's not going to be easy. Right? It's not going to be like, oh, today I'm just going to get over it. It's going to be constant, intentional work in order to free yourself from this emotional prison. So let me ask you something because maybe someone is not emotionally aware. Mm -hmm of not being free, does that make sense? And Absolutely. they're kind of feeling stuck and they have you know, these symptoms of sadness. Um, I guess, what are some symptoms or signs that indicate that you're in this place you need to get yourself out? Just in case someone at home is listening and they don't realize this is them right now. Right, and oftentimes we don't, right? We can't see the elephant sitting right in front sure. of us, right? And if you're constantly ruminating on that particular event or that particular experience, like every day I'm talking about the divorce I went through 20 years ago, right? And how he hurt me and what he did and how I responded, right? So that's a one big indicator that you haven't let the thing go if you're constantly uh, thinking and talking about it. Two, if that thing is still driving your decisions, right? If I am still making decisions based on that past experience, then I haven't let it go. Then I'm, um, I, I haven't freed myself from this emotional prison. 
Three, if I feel so much emotion about the subject, right? Because freedom is also peace. Mm. And so if I feel very strongly, if I have really strong emotions, we call them triggers, about the situation, that means that you haven't quite let it go. So those are three big indicators of, hey, I might just be in this emotional prison that they're talking about, and it may be time to let myself free. And so often we have people in our lives living in this prison, and you see it, but they don't see it. And you're like, let it go, let it go, why don't you? You have so much more to offer. But here's the difficulty, nothing will change until they're ready to change it. Oh. That's the hardest part of this journey, yes. is it doesn't matter how much I see that you need to let it go so that you can be free. It only matters when you're ready to see it. So as a friend, what can you do? What can you say to mm -hmm. kind of help that loved one get to that point where they see right. you need to move on from this? Here's what you should not say okay. is get over it. Mm -hmm. It's been long enough. Suck it up. Like, why are we talking about it? That's what you should never say, right? Because each of us goes through our own journey. And sometimes we need to hold on to things for whatever reason, for a period of time. You, as a friend, as a family member, continually to encourage them in the journey. Encourage them and pro provide opportunity for them to create new opportunity, new life, new experiences, new happiness. And continually reminding them that there's a different life available whenever they're ready whenever they're ready, right? When you're ready, we can let this go. When you're ready, we can date again. When you're ready, you can move to a new city, switch jobs, but it's when you're ready. Because when we feel forced to do stuff, we are not gonna do it and it's gonna make us resentful of the people trying to force us. Good points, mm -hmm. good points mm -hmm. to keep. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, as, as far as being a friend and a family member that's done that, mm -hmm. great piece of advice, don't say get over it. <laughs> Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, sometimes our version of get over it is different than right. like someone else's version of get over it, right? Mm -hmm. If you're in two different emotional states. Right. Yeah, I mean, when you see it differently. Those, can be fighting words. Words. <laughs> those are fighting words <laughs> when you're when you're holding on to that. Right, mm -hmm. right. Dr. Radisha, as always, thank you. We appreciate you and um, hopefully at home, you know, if this touched someone that they get out and get the resources Absolutely. they need. And we know you have resources too. There's people around you to, to go to. So. Thank Absolutely. You. Appreciate it. Get out of jail. It's time. Yeah. <laughs>